Previously, on The Room Actors, where are they now? Robin Paris was wasting away in jail while her kids from seven failed marriages wrecked havoc on the neighborhood. Today, we follow Robin on her quest to find her authentic voice. Authentic voice. Authentic voice. That last one was good. Let's use that. So after six failed marriages and countless deadbeat husbands, I had a moment of clarity. A homeless life coach I met at a laundromat told me, you be you authentically. Well, that was just the nugget of wisdom I'd been waiting for. So after JJJ bailed me out of jail, I did what any responsible parent would do. And I put my nine kids in foster care and I hightailed it to Los Angeles to find my authentic voice. First step, I started auditioning again. It was time to explore my authentic self by acting like somebody else. I need my best friend. Robin? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh my, uh, can I... We have it digitally, oh, but that's, well, no, no, that's okay. fine. Well, that's fine. I, yeah, for sure, you. I'll leave it. I'm okay. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I heard you say best friend, but I was supposed to be reading the role of the main character. Oh, are you super skinny, blonde with big boobs? Um, I, my, my boobs aren't bad. They're best friend boobs. All right, let's go. <sighs> Bitch, please. I, okay, uh, oh, no way. He didn't. He did not. What? Girl, that's crazy. Uh, would you like some more wine? Okay, I'm just gonna stop you right there. Um, I'm gonna need from you uh, more nodding and listening. That's what actors do. We nod and we listen, right? Uh, and guzzling, because you drink. Not to line read you, but... Uh, Listen, listen, guzzle, nod, and remember, you're the best friend, okay? So be quirky, well, right? But I could play the other role. I, I, listen to this, okay. Um, hello, I'm British. Would you like a spot of tea? Or, um, oh no, he didn't, girl. Are you kidding me? He fucking did not. Would you like a, a cocktail? Or, um, uh, oh no, y'all, that is not true. Help, see, you're fucking kidding me. He did not. Would you like a beer? <laughs> see, I have, I have range. You are the best friend. All right, let's go. Bitch, please. Is this because I played Michelle in the room? Is that what this is about? Oh my God, that's what it is. <laughs> Michelle from the room. That's why I, there was something. Oh my God! What, why didn't you tell us? Oh, where's your where's your jean jacket? Oh, oh, no, oh look I, at this. It, Spoons. No, come on. Come on. Spoons. Y'all stop. Oh, oh, you oh have to take God. a selfie with us, please. Yeah. yeah. You have uh, your phone ready? Well, come, okay. Come okay. on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, okay. Yeah, right here. Okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. No, you're lighting. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh wait, wait, God. Wait. It's... Um. Does this mean I have the part? Oh no, of course not, we would never cast you. You were in the worst movie of all time. We can't have that. Ah, I was, I was racking my brain, I knew I knew her from somewhere. Thank you so much for coming in. You were pretty okay. Uh, okay. We'll just keep the, keep the head shot. Yeah, we'll put that up somewhere. Oh man. Definitely best friend boobs. I'm not looking, I'm not allowed. It turns out finding my authentic voice was gonna be harder than I thought, but then my Dog Walkers Cat Groomers Fortnite coach told me about an incredible trend just sweeping the nation, lip syncing. I found my bliss and no one here recognizes me as Michelle from the room. What better way to explore my authentic voice than by lip syncing songs written and performed by other people? What is love? That was LA County District 5 Western Division Representative Robin the Rambler. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I compete every weekend on stages across the Pomona Valley. And get this, I'm undefeated. Until today. That's right, I'm taking you down, Robin. Pauline, you think just because you're younger and your lips are fresher, you can beat me? Well, that's bullshit. I do my lip ups. Shh. 
Your lips don't stand a chance. Mine are pouty and 29, old lady. I'll see you on stage. Yeah, I'll see you lose. I'll see you later. I'm waving to my haters cause I'm headed up just like a Willy Wonka elevator. I never let the past get the best of me, especially when I'm the next to leave. So I advise you to invest in me cause I'm killing these beats. Rest in peace. I got these memories that be haunting me. So I'm gonna get dressed, get fresh, and hit the scene. And we gonna party like la 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 la. Hey, look! Looks like Chocolate Girl took a tumble. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Robin the Rambler is really Michelle from the room. <gasps> Damn you! <laughs> after my tragic lip syncing accident. <laughs> my performances just weren't the same. I, I just couldn't move my lips like I, like I used to. After Pauline outed me as Michelle from The Room, I had to reinvent myself yet again. But luckily, an angel investor offered me a lucrative opportunity, which was perfect timing because I had no job or any money at all. Welcome to Top Tier Treats, where chocolate equals love. Would you like a chocolate? Thank you. Of course. The chocolate shop? It, it seemed like a logical next step. My investor, Paul, came up with the idea. Yeah, well, you think because Michelle eats chocolates in the room that I would be like, uh, let me open a chocolate shop. <laughs> no, that is stupid, okay? I authentically like chocolate. Robin likes chocolate. I mean, that would be like, I'm wearing a jean jacket because Michelle wore a jean jacket in the room, but that's not it. Paul came up with that idea too. Paul? Paul! You're turning me into Michelle? That's what this is about? Welcome to Robin's Top Tier Chocolates. I like the chocolate. Uh, what's wrong with you? It's disgusting. I, I just came for the cake. <sighs> Did you know that chocolate is the symbol of love? Oh, you know, I always thought of red roses or hearts as the symbols of love. Chocolate, that's just more something you give someone on Valentine's Day. I, I'm just saying. Robin chocolates are customers. Damn it. I chocolate you. Maybe one day I'll find an authentic Robin voice that works for me. But until then. Hello, I'm Robin. Hello, I'm Robin. Maybe you're actually Michelle. I am not Michelle. Shut the F up. You are Michelle. No, I'm not. You are. I'm not. Paul's a fucking asshole. I took Robin's sage advice and replaced my search for love with chocolate. I gained 60 pounds and lost my fiance. I dropped the weight, but I was left with loose, baggy, sagging skin and no prospects. Stay tuned for another tantalizing episode of The Room Actors. Quinn, are they now? I love your chocolate. I hate your chocolate. On her journey to finding her voice, she decided she didn't have a choice but to throw all nine of her children into foster care. They'll be happy there. She needs some space from the old face. She made a choice to find her authentic voice. Authentic voice. Authentic voice. Authentic voice.